Hi guys, I hope you had a great Labor Day weekend. Um, and so here's what we've got coming up over the next couple of weeks. Uh, first of all, iPads went home on Friday. Make sure every night the kids are charging their iPads. Make sure they have a spot at home that they can charge it, plug it in, uh, and that might be a good conversation of where you want that iPad to go and how you want to charge that up. Uh, a couple of other things that um, are coming up with those iPads. Um, there is an update that needs to be done to the iPad. We'll try to get it done at school, um, but it does take about 20, 25 minutes. So if they can uh, just do the iOS update at home, um, that would be great. So just double check, go to general settings and see if they've updated their iPad. And that is it for those iPads. Um, one thing that we're really working on as we transition from elementary to middle school is we want more of the responsibility to be on the students as far as asking for help and communication with teachers. Um, and so the, what I would encourage you to do is, I know as a parent, uh, myself included, we want to check in with the teachers and make sure everything's going okay and get homework for them and help them out with that. Um, but what I would recommend um, to ease that transition over to get more responsibility for them is I would recommend you have the students help them write an email up. They can do that on their iPad and then send the email to us. And then you send a follow-up email, just letting us know here's what's going on. Um, here is, they will be sending an email to you. Um, that way you can still prep us that, hey, this email is coming, but we can practice interacting with the student and the student can get used to asking a teacher for help um, and then getting an email back from the teacher with that said help. Um, so you're kind of behind the scenes, just double checking, hey, Mr. Stark, uh, just so you know, Johnny's sending this email. Um, he needs help with problem number five. And then you would help them write their email. So that's just a, a one quick way that you can help ease that transition and help them take uh, some of the responsibility for um, their work especially with things like if you're gonna be out of town, um, it's great, email us, let us know that you're gonna be out of town, but also have the student write an email letting us know that you're going to be out of town. Um, that way, again, they get that practice of um, contacting a teacher in those important situations. Um, yeah, so that is it for that. I know I told a few of you uh, at Back to School Night that we would be starting a class novel this week. But because of some writing lessons I still want to get in, we will be pushing that back one more week. So next week, we will start a class novel and we'll do about one chapter a day. Um, and I'll try to get a schedule posted for the students uh, and I'll give them a paper copy of the schedule. So you can ask them for the paper copy starting next week of what chapter they're supposed to be on. All right, again, if you have any questions, please let me know about it. Um, I, I love going on this journey with you guys and helping the kids transition from elementary to middle school. Um, so let me know if there's anything I can do to help out. Um, I appreciate all of your support. Uh, as I always tell the kids, until next time, book it forward, be awesome. Thanks guys, bye.